What's going on guys? Today I'm here to review the movie Stillwater that stars Matt Damon and it's about him being a father and his daughter is incarcerated for a crime that she's trying to prove her innocence on. By God, this movie's mediocre. It's all hell. Really nothing goes on in it. It's Matt Damon just walking around talking like this. Hey, hey you a lawyer? You speak English? No, oh, si papilla. God damn it. And then he gets frustrated. He's trying to find a lawyer and talk to the DA about getting his daughter out of prison and giving her a failed trial and saying she's innocent on what happened in the scenario. And he's just kind of wandering around trying to prove her innocence. And he's always wearing his hat talking, thank you, ma'am. A lot of that, thank you very much. The daughter gets mad and she's a total bitch to him most of the time. And then, for instance, he writes his daughter's letters and they're speaking while he's doing a visit while she's in jail. He says, well, didn't you know? I've been writing your letters. She goes, I haven't been reading your letters. I have threw them all in the garbage. Why are you still visiting her then, dude? Your daughter obviously resents you. She hates you as a person. Anything. She doesn't want to be cordial or kind or sophomoric. She wants nothing to do with you. Uh, she's not going to reciprocate to you because you're writing some letters. She's obviously making it clear. All she wants you to do is help her get out of prison. But the problem is a lot of that is just him going from lawyer to lawyer talks to the DA. He's like, don't you want to hear my daughter's story? I found who did it. I found out what happened. You got to give us a trial. And I'm doing that voice because <laughs> that's how he talks to the movie. So I was kind of like giggling a little bit. So besides that, it's just a lot of that. And he goes to a soccer game and he sees one of the guys that was involved in her crime and he kidnaps him and wants answers. And you're thinking it's going to get interesting here. It doesn't. Because you know why it doesn't get interesting? Gotta rub myself because it's so cliche and it was so needed. There's a fucking love story in the movie from here. And then he falls in love and starts building a connection with this girl's daughter. Trying to get his own daughter out of prison now. And now you got a love story going on with this drama. And she's an actress and he loves her. And he starts to really bond with the girl he's dating's daughter. And I'm sure you can figure out the rest. So this movie's very mediocre. There's a little suspense when the cops figure something out and he doesn't know what to do because he's not one of those. They kind of make it clear that he's not one of those really savvy, smart people where he can hide evidence, hide what he's doing, and, you know, be smart about it. They make that clear. I appreciate that because not everyone's going to be, like, Liam Neeson and Taken and have everything mapped out. They're not all governmentally trained assassins. So... It, it worked, but the movie's just so bland and boring that it's just something you would give your grandpa. If you are 75 and up, you're going to love this. If you are younger than 75 years old, you're going to fucking hate this movie. And in all honesty, you probably won't finish it. I know it's another bad review, but damn, dude. This was mediocre as shit. So if you're looking for a movie that is just no violence cussing, not overly harsh or dramatic or dark or depressing. It's, it's a pretty soft drama. Right in that 75 year old mark. So if you want to buy something for your grandpa, a movie he'll enjoy. Definitely pick him up Stillwater. I'm going to grade Stillwater a D plus. This movie's not even okay. It was just not interesting at all. I didn't think it was terrible, but it's not my style. Uh, when I watch a movie, I want something kind of fun or exciting or interesting to happen, and this is mainly just him eating meals. There were so many scenes when he's eating meals and in love with this girl, and there's a lot of kissy stuff, and I just don't know why they added in that fat because the movie ran like two hours and ten minutes, and this movie should have been like 90 for the conclusion you were received. Because the last scene of the movie, him and his daughter are talking at a house, and she goes, this place has changed so much. And he's like, I don't remember. I don't remember anything about this place. It's been so long since I've been here. Nothing's coming back to my memory. Looks all the same to me. Every day I think I forget about it more and more. And then it cuts to black and goes to credits. And that's why you should buy this for your grandpa. Until then, guys, I will catch you movie fans on my next review. And thanks again for watching.